right, this is very significant. There are some new concerns now that high gas and food prices could drive the U.S. economy back into another recession. Yeah, the current average for a gallon of regular gasoline is now standing at $3.86. The price has gone up for 31 straight days, and things aren't much better where food is concerned. Check this out. Ground beef is up 21% since last year, butter up 33%. Meantime, milk has risen by 10%, and coffee, it's up 30%. So is our economy reaching the tipping point for yet another recession? Well, joining us now is Ed Butowski. He can share some things with us because he is the managing partner of Chatwood Capital Investment Management. He knows what he's talking about. And Ed, one word that you said alarms me and should be a sound of alarm for everyone, stagflation. Yeah. Uh, Kelly, Kelly, there is absolutely no question. If we keep going down the path we are, we are going to not just have a recession, but a very steep recession. And let me just clarify very quickly. A recession you know, what they, when you define it, it's two successive quarters of negative GDP growth. Now, the way you fix a recession is you lower interest rates to stimulate the economy. And if the economy is rising too fast, they will tighten interest rates to slow it down. Here's the problem, Kelly. The economy is growing so slow. We have high unemployment. We have really fast rising prices, as you just said. And we have very slow economic activity. We're at a point where there's only one way I think we can fix this economy. And if we don't change it right now, we're going to go into a very, very deep recession. And that will be brought on by stagflation, which I just described to you. Now, see, that's a concern for so many people because it's almost as if, uh, if you pardon the analogy, but it's almost like a car trying to catch up with a fast moving train. And, and, and the mm -hmm. economy is just kind of uh, running, well, the prices are just running away from everything and and like you said it's just too slow people are paying more at the gas pump they're paying more for the food table they're paying more at the restaurants right. because the restaurants have to pay more for the gas to get the supplies there and the food you know what's going on why hasn't the Obama administration or or Congress stepped in to do something right well um Great question. I have absolutely no idea why we continue down this path. And I know we talk a lot about the need to cut taxes, but for anybody who's kind of tinkering with the idea, should we or shouldn't we, that's the only way we are going to offset this and stimulate the economy because we cannot stimulate the economy as we might normally do during a recession or the onset of a recession, lowering rates, because we're already at zero, Kelly. So how else do we stimulate the economy? You, you cut taxes, that's how you do it. You know, the other day, I, I went and I filled up my gas tank. It cost mm -hmm. me $75.50, and I was on my way to a lunch meeting. I was starving. But because I knew how expensive not only my gas was, but how much that meal was going to be, I just had a, a simple dinner salad. I mean, I, I am cutting back. Uh, everyone's starting to cut back. And in fact, J.P. Morgan the other day just cut their forecast for 2011 uh, for GDP growth from 2.5% to one4 that's a dramatic shift wow. in terms of what they're expecting for the economy. And we're going to start hearing that more and more. And it's because of rising food costs, right. gas prices, and everything else we put our hands on, Kelly. And, and, and you know how these things go. I've got to economize my time. So real quickly, what's the solution? Okay. Uh, the only solution I can come up with is we must cut taxes in this country to stimulate the jobs to stimulate the overall economy. That's how we're going to get back. And the policies we have in place right now, Kelly, just aren't working. There's an old line, when riding a very slow horse, mm -hmm. dismount. And right now, we need to dismount and change things. Ed, always thank you for your insight. Have a good day. Absolutely. Thank you.